The term endothermic process describes a process or reaction in which the system absorbs energy from its surroundings, usually, but not always, in the form of heat. The term was coined by Marcel and Bertolo from the Greek roots endo, derived from the word endon, meaning within, and the root therm, meaning hot. The intended sense is that of a reaction that depends on absorbing heat if it is to proceed. The opposite of an endothermic process is an exothermic process, one that releases, gives out, energy in the form of heat. Thus in each term the prefix refers to where heat goes as the reaction occurs, though in reality it only refers to where the energy goes, without necessarily being in the form of heat. The concept is frequently applied in physical sciences to, for example, chemical reactions where thermal energy is converted to chemical bond energy. Endothermic analysis only accounts for the enthalpy change of a reaction. The full energy analysis of a reaction is the Gibbs free energy, which includes an entropy and temperature term in addition to the enthalpy. A reaction will be a spontaneous process at a certain temperature if the products have a lower Gibbs free energy even if the enthalpy of the products is higher. Entropy and enthalpy are different terms, so the change in entropic energy can overcome an opposite change in enthalpic energy and make an endothermic reaction favorable. Examples Photosynthesis Melting ice Cracking of alkanes Vaporizing rubbing alcohol Thermal decomposition reactions Electrolytic decomposition of sodium chloride into sodium hydroxide and hydrogen chloride. Dissolving ammonium chloride in water. High-energy neutrons can produce tritium from lithium-7 in an endothermic reaction, consuming 2.466 MeV. This was discovered when the 1954 Castle Bravo nuclear test produced an unexpectedly high yield. Nuclear fusion of elements heavier than iron in supernovas.